Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you quickly how you can set a minimum order amount for your WooCommerce store. So whenever customer tries to buy any item which is uh, below the if the total order value in the cart is below the amount set by you, they won't be able to check out and they will see an error like this um, that the order value is below than the minimum order value. And even if they try to click on this uh, proceed to check out. It will again bring them to this page so it will again show you them this error so this video was requested by um, one of my viewer in the last free shipping woocommerce video so if you have any other query you can also post it and i will try to help you out okay so um, i researched about it and woocommerce recommends you to add this code basically um, using a snippet plugin or something like that and uh, but i tried that but for some reason that what happened what was happening was um you will see the error in the cart but when you will click on proceed to checkout it will check out like normally so basically that was useless as uh, a customer would be able to simply ignore this message and continue to check out and place the order so then I tried a different plugin, which is also was suggested by the WooCommerce website. Okay, so I will show you uh, which plugin it is. So I will go to my plugins, install plugin. So it's really simple to do and uh, I will keep this video as short as possible. This is the plugin WC minimum order amount. And just to um, just make sure that you use the correct plugin, I will uh, show you in the search WordPress plugin repository. Yeah, we'll search it. And the first result will be this plugin. It has this thermometer kind of icon, temperature meter icon. Okay, so this is the plugin you will need. Um, just install and activate it. And then go to WooCommerce. From here, go to settings. And in the general tab, the last option will be of this plugin settings, minimum order setting. This is the setting of this plugin. So from here, you can change this amount. By default, it is set to zero. So that means all orders will be accepted. So you can change it to 100, 50, 60, 70, whatever you want. You can also change the error message here. Okay, just do not change this percentage and uh, just keep it at default. So uh, otherwise you can change uh, all the message here. Then click on save changes. And sometimes uh, at the first time it may not work. Sometimes you may get error. Uh, you may not see this error. Okay, I mean the by error, I mean this error message. And so what I would uh, recommend you to do is just uh, toggle the currency settings. So let's say uh, by default your setting is US dollar, okay. Just make it US dollar and then um, set it to something else and then again save and then reset it to US dollar or whatever your default currency is. Okay, so then usually it starts working. Maybe it was some caching error. So I don't know, but if you get that error, then you can try that. Okay, so I will again show you that it is working properly. I will go to store. Uh, I've set the order amount to let's add, let's add a small order value item. Click on add to cart. Okay, go to view cart. And the total amount is 60. I've set the minimum order amount 70. So I should. Um, let's see. Okay, I've set it to 60 only. So I will make it 70. And then again, let's refresh this page. Okay, you can see here that it, it is now showing this error that my order value is 60 and it must be 70. So I will be able to only then I will can check out. So that's it guys for this video and I hope this was helpful. Do let me know in the comments and give this video a like and I will see you in the next video.